The following podcast is a W2M Network original production. Visit W2Mnet.com for all of our other great podcasts, plus news, reviews, articles, and opinions from the worlds of wrestling, video games, football, and entertainment. And welcome to the Wrestling to the Max 205 Live review for May 29th, 2018. Good evening, afternoon. Whenever you're listening to this, everybody, I am your host. My name is Harry Broadhurst. I am officially back in the saddle again. I'm back! <laughs> okay, I'm done. Where? No, I'm not. I'm back in the saddle again! Please stop. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That is, the co- that is the co-hostess with the mostest, Miss Liz Puglisi. Who apparently is not an Aerosmiths fan. Oh, no, no, that's, I am an Aerosmith fan. And I'm not, the a, other I'm vo- not a fan of Harry singing. No, okay. okay. <laughs> and the other voice that you heard, the Dean Warmer to my Deltas, Brandon Biscabing. I don't get it. I'm trying to remember what that's from. You know what? You're both on double <laughs> secret probation. How's that? <laughs> It's an Animal House reference. Oh, okay. I haven't oh, seen I never, that I, in like forever. So. I've never, I've never seen it. So wing and a miss. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> I, I, I thought that one was solid, but hey, they can't all be winners. Hey, hey, boo yep. boo. I'm just saying, need to be smarter than the stick. <laughs> I said stick, Sean. Stick. Anywho. This is the 205 Live Review. We are back once again covering the show. We apologize for missing last week. I was out of state. Liz had a death in the family. Brandon's just lazy. I wasn't going to do the the show solo. Uh, You could have found somebody, you schmuck. I asked Sean, and he was busy. Everyone else was busy. You know we're heavily short-staffed right now. Listen, for one week, it was the Liz and Brandon Network. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) That might be an improvement. <laughs> yeah. speaking, of, speaking of which, you can listen to the Liz and Brandon Network on all of your favorite podcast devices, such as iTunes, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Podbean, CastBox. Pretty much we're everywhere except for Spotify, and we're allegedly coming there eventually. I'm going to keep hammering that into the ground until it happens. <laughs> anyway... With that being said, what do you say we get into the heart of the matter here? Let's talk 205 Live, shall we? Let's do it. The fun part about this show is that I get to start it this way. Our opening contest, scheduled for one fall. One fall. Is tag team action as Brian Kendrick. (laughs) I hate you. (laughs) Motherfucker. Language. I hate that he, I hate that he popped me with my own joke. That's what pissed me off. <laughs> it is the Teddy Long special tag match play of as Brian Kendrick and Jack Gallagher take on Kalisto and Lince Dorito. <laughs> Lince Lince Dorado to the actually informed audience. Can, can, Thanks, Drew. Can, can we racist. please? Can we please just get out of the way that the best part of this whole entire match was Drew Gulak's commentary? Drew, Drew is a god. <laughs> yes, he is. I mean, I was... you're, if you're looking for me and Liz to heap praise on Drew, Drew Gulak, you don't have to look far. <laughs> no, I was watching today um, Drew on Up, Up, Down, Down. Oh, God, I need to go check that out now because oh that just sounds god. hilarious. It is so, and there's like two parts. I have to find the first part. I just happen to like stumble upon it because I'm like way behind on my up, up, down, down mm-hmm. stuff. But As am I. It was, it, it was, to quote our favorite theme song, Glorious. <laughs> uh, Xavier, we're accepting sponsorships, just throwing it out there, homie. Yeah. <laughs> Like, we're looking to be sponsored, and we just gave you a pretty damn good one. Anyway, (laughs) the match itself sees 
Drew get involved in the finish, tripping up Lindsay on the top rope as he's going for the shooting star press. Lindsay lands chest first onto the rope, falls into the ring where Kendrick hooks him in the captain's hook. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> At six minutes and 35 seconds for the victory. Your thoughts on our opening tag match, Brandon? Uh, like I said, I, I like the match a, a lot. Um, the match was solid, but the, the best part uh, of this match by a long shot was Drew on commentary and then him proceeding to say enough of this and just going and interfering and helping out the the uh, the, the team of uh, Gallagher and Kendrick. I don't know. If, do they have an official name yet? The Gentleman Not or something? Really. I'm just going to call them The Gentleman. Uh, but yeah, I think this is definitely setting up towards a uh, six-man tag match probably next week between Why, yeah. Lucha. Yes, between Lucha House Party and uh, Gallagher, Kendrick, and Gulak, which I'm perfectly fine with. Liz, your thoughts? You know, he's just sitting there going, "She's going to complain that there's going to be a six-man tag match." But <laughs> not. Because it's true, and anything with Drew is just so much better. Now it was a good, it was a good match. I think it was, you know, fairly well paced. It wasn't an overly long match, but it wasn't like a super, you know, it wasn't obviously it wasn't a squash. It wasn't a super short match. Um, it was pretty good. But yeah, like Brandon said, the best part was Drew on 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 commentary. I, I love when he's on commentary. I also love when um. Drake is on is on on commentary, but yeah, it was it was very he was very entertaining. He he really made the match. Backstage interview with the previously mentioned Drake Maverick as he talks about the fact that TJP has had some crap to say on Twitter, telling him that for all the talking that he's been doing on Twitter, he has to prove it in the ring, not on social media. Maverick then proceeds to walk away from Dasha, thanking her for her time. In addition, we also had a recap of last week's Hideo Itami versus Akira Tozawa match. I have not watched it yet. I did not get to watch the Tuesday Night Wrestling last week due to the fact that I was out of state. I do plan on watching it, and frankly, Itami versus Tozawa sounds awesome. It was. Our main event scheduled for one fall. One fall. You know what? Usually I like to be silly during, during these shows. You know, we have some fun and stuff here. This right here was the Cruiserweight division telling the main roster, yeah, screw all you guys. We can do everything you can do and do it better. Oh, yeah. This was hands down the best match of the week. Mm -hmm. Not even close. As good as the six-man tag team match was on SmackDown, we talked about it on the SmackDown Live Review, already available wherever you listen to the W2M Network podcasts. And as good as... Spotify. (laughs) Yes. And and as good as the Braun versus Finn part... And, and as good as Braun versus Finn Part Two was on Raw, which Liz and I talked about last night, and you can also listen to that everywhere you listen to your podcast, except Spotify. Except Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx, Liz, you owe me a coke. <laughs> well, and not the kind of going to kill us. Not, not the kind of coke that the writing staff was on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, it was. <laughs> I mean, w- would you say it's five stars? I don't know, but it is damn near close. It was oh, yeah. one hell of a match. And the great thing about this match too, and I think it also kind of plays into the how much they've been pushing, uh, Buddy Murphy. You mm-hmm. didn't know who was gonna win this match. I mean, I was ha- I was going into it almost guaranteed that Murphy was gonna win, considering for one how much they've been pushing him, and for two mm-hmm. the whole home home uh, home arena disadvantage in WWE. Yeah, I mean, the match itself goes twenty one minutes. That is not a typo. There is a very short network commercial break in there. But these guys are beating the absolute dog piss out of each other for the better part of this contest, exchanging strikes and aerial maneuvers. The only thing missing was Drew Gulak on commentary. 
Uh, why couldn't we have gotten him come out and do commentary it's, for this? It's so close to perfect. That's why yes. I didn't get five stars. I didn't have <laughs> true. Gets 4.9 stars. The one star yeah, right. would have been for Drew. 4.99. 4. <laughs> you know, I wasn't really um, sold on um, Buddy. I mean, I liked him. I didn't I didn't dislike him. Um, I enjoyed what they've been doing with him so far. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. As we all know, I didn't watch the other show until the week that I did the show with Brandon. Um, so, you know, I don't have that, you know, have you continued? I have continued. So if you guys do, if you want a third person on the, on the show, let me know if I have time. I'd love to get on. and. I've converted another one, Harry. You have, um, so, but yeah, this, oh, you know. So all this time that I've been trying to convince you to watch next, you don't. But Brandon needs you for one show. <laughs> but 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 Harry, I did it for you because you were in here. Okay, that's fair. I'll accept that. As a <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it it pretty much sold me on them. I didn't. I didn't. You know. I mean, Cedric is is Cedric. You can never go wrong with him. I haven't seen any match at Cedric's. That he hasn't been, re- you know, really good in, but you know, top notch. I mean, there's only so many times you could say it, but it was. Harry was right, you know. Hey, main Rasta, you know, screw you. <laughs> twenty minutes and five seconds was the official match time. It did not feel like twenty minutes. This flew by. Go out of your way to watch this match. Mm. I cannot praise it enough. I will not do it justice talking about it, so I'm not even going to try. Nope. I have one question. My sound was a little, you know, off, meaning I had to keep it off because there were some things going on here. How was the crowd? The crowd was great. I mean, it was a little... Dead at first? Yeah, dead at first, but then after a while, it got loud. I think this is one of those instances where having a home state champion such as Cedric really helped the circumstances Mm -hmm. of this division, too. Definitely. And that's going to officially wrap up our discussion for 205 Live tonight. Let's get into the ratings, shall we? Scale of 1 to 10, Brandon. I'm going to give it a 9. I mean, between, you know, we only had two matches on this card, but, you know, the the storytelling and and having Drew on commentary and, and the progression of the tag match was great. And then, you know, we talked about all the superlatives for uh, the for the main event tonight. You know, just an, an, an outstanding show. Liz? You know, if we had gotten Drew on commentary for the second match... It would have been a uh, 10. Would it, it would have been a 10, man. But yeah, 9. She would have gone the full tie down, Winter. I think yeah. I would have as well. Totally. <laughs> totally. Um... Yeah, absolutely, absolutely it on. Yeah, I can't um, complain about this show. It did not seem as, like, it, it seems to, like, fly by, you know. It was mm-hmm. it was very well paced. It was only two matches, but it, it was it was super good, as Cassian would say, super good. I can't quite go nine. Well, no, true. The second time, of course not. I'm going to go eight and a half. But uh, we've officially learned that there are three certainties as of right now in life. Death, taxes, and that Enzo Amore can properly F off to whatever garbage rap music he's trying to produce these days. (laughs) Because 205 Live is a much better show without you. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, because it's gone back to to its roots. I mean, it also helps that Triple H is controlling it now. The only thing I have to say to this in that regard there in Enzo... Hold on, give me a second. Let me cue up my sound effect here if I can. I can't. I don't have a dial pad for my sound effect. Crap. Good effing riddance. <laughs> One word review, Liz. Stellar. It's as good a word as any. Brandon? I'm going to go very similar and use the AJ Styles phenomenal. 
is glorious. And it's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I apologize. You know what? Just just in order to make Liz feel better about herself, my one word for the show is glorious. <laughs> no, I won't give in. No, I will defend. Okay, there we go. No, in all sincerity, uh, even if you skip the opening tag team match, and frankly, you kind of can, it's it's Teddy Long Fluff. It's a tag match player. It is what it is. And screw you, Brandon. I will not forget what you did. I'm coming back for you. Just know that I'm coming for you. Words that Hulk Hogan can't say. That's a Booker T reference, everybody. Don't get your panties in a bunch. But even if you skip that opening tag team match, the main event for this week's episode of 205 Live is must watch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For the co hostess with the mostest, Miss Liz Puglisi, and Brandon Biscabing, who you can listen to on Fantasy Football to the Max later this week with Jason Teasley as they give their draft recap and fantasy analysis toward going towards the preseason as well. As well as the kickoff coming back at you a little bit later on in the summer. August 8th, I believe, is the tentative return date where we will be doing our college football review preview special. I'm Harry Broadhurst, thanking you for listening to the Wrestling to the Max 205 Live review for May 29th, 2018 here on the W2M Network, available online at w2mnet.com. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll catch up with you guys next Tuesday night.